All right, so it turns out I've been doing it wrong for several years. And when I say several years, I mean a little under 10 years. And I'm sure you've read the title. I've been doing my cinematography reels wrong the entire almost 10 years. Now, usually when you have a reel, as an editor, cinematographer, director, producer, anything in that creative sphere, you wanna create a reel that sells who you are as an artist and who you are as a storyteller. And for me, I've been doing that for, again, the past almost 10 years, but I've been doing it under the perspective and the view of a cinematographer only. Now, I recently talked with one of my former professors and they told me how I should be making a reel to entice directors since they're gonna be the ones hiring you, right? As a cinematographer, that is. So what I've been doing before was I was making my reel so that I could show off to other cinematographers that I knew what I was doing, that I had quote unquote cool shots, and I wanted to impress other cinematographers. Now, that isn't wrong for you to do as a cinematographer or as someone who is making a reel, you wanna impress other people who are doing the same exact thing as you. And it probably goes without saying, again, I'm still new to this. You don't make a reel to impress other cinematographers as a cinematographer. You don't make reels as an editor to impress other editors because it's not another editor or another cinematographer who will be hiring you. It's really the director or a producer who's gonna be making those calls. So with that in mind, after my professor just told me this about three or four days ago, it changed the way that I was thinking on how I'm constructing and putting together my 2024 reel. Now I've been trying to put it together for the past week or so, and I will continue to do it, but the notes and the feedback that I got from my professor were really great because she is a cinematographer slash director or and a director and she simply just told me make a reel that will impress directors so that directors will view it look at it and want to work with you as a collaborator now with that framework in mind something as simple as that i went back to the drawing board and i'm going to continue to edit fix replace swap out clips that really highlight how i understand the story as a cinematographer someone who can put together composition that speaks to the story and show my strength and imagery to help reinforce the story. Now, if you haven't seen a reel or a cinematography reel specifically recently or ever, it's all done to music. So there is no dialogue that you can lean on to help sell the emotion or the scene. You're really just using music and a plethora of clips that you have from your recent work to showcase that you understand story. So as a cinematographer, you really have to lean on the imagery to show that you understand story and the moments and beats that all go within a scene that all build up to make a movie or a short film or a documentary. Now, again, those may not be the most sexiest, coolest, amazing shots that you remember, but they make up those beats and the moments that make a scene or make a story. And that, I think, is what directors are really looking for. Someone as a cinematographer who can compose, lens, and light a scene to showcase emotion. Now, this is something that I'm fortunately getting better at. Now, like I said, I've been making a cinematography reel since 2015, which is almost 10 years now. Crazy to think. But I've been getting better at understanding how to craft a compelling reel. But I didn't have this knowledge that my professor just dropped on me. So I hope that you get this information sooner than I do, that when you make a reel as a cinematographer, editor, director, producer, whatever it may be, keep in mind that the people you want to impress are the ones that are gonna be hiring you, not another cinematographer or not another whatever it is that you are currently doing. They're gonna have great feedback, of course, but ultimately it's not gonna be another whatever it is that you're doing that will be hiring you for the job. At least, I don't think. All right, so let me give you some tips for acquiring the footage to create a reel as a cinematographer. These are two ways that I found the easiest to acquire the footage as you are filming and then also in post when you're done with filming. All right, and the first way that I found it the most easiest way to get the footage, because believe it or not, it's not easy to get footage as a cinematographer when you're on certain projects. So one way that I found that makes it very easy is getting your own hard drive, like a SSD drive, which I don't have one to show you to reference, but Samsung drives, T5, T7s, those are awesome drives and I use those myself. But getting one of those drives, talking with the director and your DIT on set, 
letting them know before you even film, hey, look, I want to get some of the footage for my own reel for my own purposes, and it's literally just to create a reel from what we're filming. That's all. You don't need any audio because you're not the editor, you're not the director, you just want the images. Once you've told them and you're all in agreement that it's okay, talk with the DIT and let them know when you start transferring footage, when you fill up one card and you send it out to the DIT to start backing up, let them know if there is time, it's not priority number one, but if you could begin to back up the footage on that drive that you handed to them earlier. That's one really quick, easy way to get the footage on the day. Now, on the back end in post, you're not able to have that conversation with the DIT or the director, or it just doesn't work out on the day. Even if you are able to get the access to the footage on the day, maybe there's not enough time to back up the footage on that day. So another way to get the footage so that you can make a reel is in post, if you become the colorist or if you become friends with the colorist, at that moment, you're able to A, if you are the colorist, get all of the footage as it is anyways, because you'll have probably the picture locked version of all of the clips that you just shot so you won't have everything that you filmed but some of the best things that the director liked which sometimes you may leave out some shots that you as a cinematographer really really like so if you're the colorist you may have access to at least the picture locked footage that way you can take some of those scenes some of those clips some of those shots that you like and add them to your own hard drive so those are two quick ways to get the footage as a cinematographer now there are so many other ways that you can do it another one for bonus is just become friends with the editor if you're able to get the footage from the editors when they have it, you may be able to get the footage from them, but that's not my favorite way to do it because the editors are usually incredibly busy enough as it is. Asking them to copy footage is just kind of a lot. So try to find a way to get the footage before it gets to the editor's hands if possible. And if not, then you have to come in on the back end during the color process and see if you can get some of the footage that way. All right, so all things said, if you are trying to make a reel as a cinematographer, this is my thought process, how to get all of the footage on days of production and or post-production, and then also how to edit your reel for the people who will be actually hiring you, not your other colleagues who are within your same specific focus. For me, cinematographers. Again, I've always asked cinematographers, what do they think about my reel, when really I should be talking to the directors and asking directors what they think of my reel. So I hope this video has been helpful for you because if I had this information almost 10 years ago, every reel that I made since then would have been different and maybe landed me a few more jobs. Anyways, I'm Matt Abib, cinematographer slash student, and I'll see you all in seven days. Fight on. Did I get everything? <laughs> all right, time to edit. It is Wednesday. You will be seeing this tonight. I should, I should start editing. Okay. I gotta go. Bye. <laughs>